how much do you think your parents sacrificed to oh, support yeah, hockey? everything. Uh, my dad couldn't afford a new pair of skates for me. One of my grandparents inevitably helped out. Every now and then an uncle or cousin would help out. Um, we didn't uh, go on family vacations because we just we really couldn't afford it. Our family vacations were going to hockey games and baseball games, uh, but we didn't want for anything else. We that was our life, and we loved every minute of it. But yeah, you know, we're 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 no different than a thousand other stories of kids in North America or even Europe that came over that made the NHL that didn't have uh, as much as other kids, but we were rich in. Uh, support and love and uh, to me that meant more than financial dollars. So a year earlier I think you're getting paid five dollars an hour filling potholes right. with gravel and then all of a sudden you sign a multi-year contract where you get a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar signing bonus plus another hundred thousand in the first year. What does your dad say to you when you ask for some money from that yeah. to buy a car? Yeah, You know it's it's an interesting because when I was a kid you know 12 and 13 and 14, um, and I understood that we didn't have a whole we didn't have a whole lot, uh, but that was okay. Uh, I didn't want for anything, but I, I can remember at sort of 12, 13, 14, saying, "Should I get a summer job?" And and uh, my dad always said, "No, you, you know, you got your whole life to work. Uh, when you're a kid, be a kid. Um, but if you're going to be a kid and and train and be the best athlete you can be, um, that's your responsibility, and make sure you don't fake it." Uh, make sure you put in time. And so I always thought that. And then when I turned um, uh, 16, um, I remember he said, okay, you can work this summer. Um, I remember I got a job. I, I, can't remember, I think I was making about $4 an hour. But I really enjoyed it. I was throwing gravel onto uh, to holes on the, on the roads and highways and somebody else would tar it. And I remember thinking, well, why can't I tar it? Why do I have to throw the gravel? But uh, I worked for about eight weeks, and I remember when my last day, I remember my dad saying to me, I guess you want to become a professional hockey player. I said, yeah, I guess I do. Um, but it was a great learning experience for me. I'm glad I did it. And, uh, you know, obviously it encouraged me to become the best athlete I could become. Um, yeah, and like everyone else, I was in shock, and I didn't see that coming when Nelson Scalbini and WHA came along and offered me this uh, ransom of money and, and uh, I didn't anticipate it. So when I did sign, um, I remember uh, I, I said, I got to buy a car. I, I had just gotten my license because my dad wouldn't let me get my driver's license till I was 17. Um, so I'd just gotten it in about February or March of that year. And I remember saying to my dad, I need to buy a car. And he said, all right, here's $5,000, get whatever you can. <laughs> so I bought an old uh, used Trans Am, and I think I paid $3,600 for it, but I was more happy than anybody. <laughs>